Okay, I'm here at 4102 Via Bella. I just walked into the front door. Um, on the floor we have six inch by six inch white tiles with a quarter inch gap uh, grout line. Uh, eight foot ceilings with a popcorn ceiling uh, texture. And here is the front door from the other view. Seven foot door. Uh, right to the right, as soon as you walk in, is the kitchen. Uh, solid wood cabinetry, dark brown color, laminate uh, countertops with a double basin sink, seven inches deep. Uh, no backsplash along the counter or along the walls. And um, a breakfast bar just past the stove and microwave. Looks plenty of room for four stools or so uh, if you wanted. Um, GE. Microwave, Kenmore, stove, and uh, fridge. I'm not sure what the name is. I don't see the brand. Solid wood, hard to see if there's any standing underneath. And then just past the kitchen area is a hallway that leads to the second bath, second bedroom, and laundry closet. Uh, we'll explore that here in a sec. And then there's a transition to laminate wood flooring. Yeah, laminate wood flooring. Um, we have some upgraded light fixtures for the kitchenette area. And then a fan in the family room. Uh, this room is actually very spacious, uh, very similar to the last property we saw um, on Lafayette. And I'd say the family room space is about 20 feet uh, by 15 feet almost. Pretty spacious. Um, she just opened the door for me, so I'm gonna go right out here. The back patio has uh, the stone type flooring. It's like a pebble flooring. Um, it's pretty wide. It's about 15 feet wide. Uh, actually a little bit more than that, almost 18 feet. Oh, very nice. Garage, uh, two car garage with a side door. And this is a detached garage. So it's separate from the house. There's no awning that uh, connects the two uh, structures. Um, wood, wood walls surrounding the lanai area and a storage closet for your dryer. Did I see the, the washers over there and the dryers over here? Okay. So the washer and dryer is separate. Um, here's where the panel is and extra storage. Thank you. Extra storage for your belongings. Little drywall damage along the seam here. Um, looks like a possibly a light that was removed, um, or maybe just some patching because I see this is sagging a little bit there. Second patch job, and I see a seam going along there from the drywall. Um, the back wall of the lanai has this black paneling and then the um, screen slides up and down. I don't want to mess with it too much, but it does slide up and down. It looks like there's supposed to be a couple of tracks worth of this window, but I'm only seeing one, one panel out of what I believe is three or four panels to make up the window. So I think it's missing a couple panels. And what I mean by that is you can see how there are a couple tracks in the, uh, the framing and then there's only one window um, in the track and they're all pushed to the top position. Is it this guy up here? 
Oh. <laughs> Thank you. This is the back patio and I need to be careful out here because there are roofers working on the roof currently and I almost stepped on a nail on the way in. Uh, but this is what it looks like on the outside. The roofers are only doing the neighbor's roof. They're not doing this unit's roof. So I'll have to get the age so we know what that is like. Um, a sidewalk and a little patio space connecting the driveway and the two car garage. Here's a view down the driveway. And a fence surrounding the property. Two car garage with no insulation. Um, cylinder block, cylinder block um, exterior with wood framing for the roof, of course. Uh, this is a two car garage with about four feet of extra storage along the side here. And about four feet of extra storage along the back. So plenty of storage space and can fit two cars pretty comfortably. Let's make our way back inside. And then towards the back of the home is the master bedroom. Master bedroom is a little small. It's about 12 feet by 13 feet, almost a perfect square. And then we have a walk-in closet, no attic space or access in the walk-in closet. Walk-in closet is also a little small. It's about five feet by five feet. And then master bath has these, um, I think they're Arabic style tiles, porcelain tiles with an eighth inch grout line. And it has laminate wood cabinetry with this decorative pattern on it. Uh, a little water staining towards the bottom there underneath the chemicals. And then single basin sink, medicine cabinet. And along the entire wall, at least the bottom section of the wall, wrapping around and through the shower and including the ceiling of the shower are these four inch by four inch yellow tiles. It's like an, a darker yellow, almost beige color. Um, which matches the shower tub combo and toilet. This bathroom is about seven feet by five feet and it has a little bit of a recessed ceiling. Two windows in the master, one facing the exterior in the back, one facing the side. And it looks like the side window is a little bit smaller. Yeah, it's a little bit shorter. So. Making our way towards bedroom number two, the washer and second bathroom. So to the right in the hallway, here's the light. To the right is the uh, washer and closet space. And it looks like you have a hookup for power. Okay, so for a different style washer, if you had that type of connection. Um, it also has Edison three prong down below and then your water lines down below. It does not have the hookup. Oh, I spoke too soon. It does. So we, you could do stackable in here and then vent straight up. The attic space is in the hallway here and looks like a little bit of water damage right there along the edge of the panel. 
There it is. And bathroom number two. Uh, almost the same size as the master bath. Maybe just a little bit smaller. Um, this one has tile wrapping around as well. Four inch by four inch square tiles that are an off-white. Same cabinetry as the master bath. Laminate wood. And let's see the shower. So nice walk-in shower. Um, it's about seven feet tall or so. Has a window and a shower curtain to hold it up. There's a little bit of cracked tiling along the edge here. No other real serious tile issues. Just a little bit of grout lines that need to be redone here and there. A little bit of damage at the corner and the drywall there. And along the seam of the top. And then making our way, oh, the flooring is also this Arabic style tile. And this is an off-white. Um, it's a different color than the master bath. Uh, it's an off-white, very similar to the wall, but there is a difference. Slight difference in color. The wood flooring is also in bedroom number two. Bedroom number two is a rectangle. This is about 11 feet by 9 feet. And it has a tall window over here that faces the front of the property. And then a regular size window. Oh, very similar to the master. It's a short window. Uh, facing the side of the property. The closet space is behind me. Plenty of room for storage. And the closet doors actually are very smooth on that track. Knowing how old they are, I'm genuinely surprised how smooth they are. So that is the house on the inside. I'm going to take a second video for the outside and talk to you guys soon.